Amber Heard has made a big mistake. No one in the jury believes her story after she keeps lying. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom star Amber Heard may have just opened up more legal issues for herself outside of the defamation suit filed by Johnny Depp after she was cross-examined by Depp's lawyers. Her recent admission on cross-examination could open the door for perjury charges in the United Kingdom, which could lead to her never being granted permission into the country again. But what has she lied about and how much trouble is she in? Let's find out in this video. Amber Heard could face a police probe and claims of perjury, legal experts have said, after the star admitted not giving $3.5 million from her divorce settlement with Johnny Depp to charity, despite telling the high court she had. After the couple divorced in 2016, Ms. Heard said she would split the $5.5 million settlement between the Children's Hospital Los Angeles and the American Civil Liberties Union. But given evidence in their libel trial on Monday, Heard said she has yet to make the full donation because Johnny sued me for $50 million in March of 2019. It came despite the actress having claimed on several occasions, including under oath at their UK High Court libel case, that she had. Depp's lawyer Camille Vasquez also argued yesterday that Heard had the money for months before the lawsuit, yet failed to donate the money as she promised. This disclosure has led to accusations that Heard misled the public when talking about the donations on talk shows and may have lied under oath. Sean Caulfield, partner in law firm Hodge, Jones & Dallin, told Mail One today that Heard could face a perjury probe in the UK as misleading a court cuts to the core of our justice system. Asked if he can see police investigating the claims, he added, Yes, I think so. While it may not be a central issue to the case, the donations, perjury is the single biggest threat and cuts to the core of our justice system. So the police may be invited to investigate to show that any member of the public who lies to the court can be prosecuted for perjury. Mr. Caulfield said perjury is difficult to prove, adding, It's not a central issue before the court, but if Depp's legal team are trying to paint a picture that she is trying to keep the money, then it is. And it is always central that people do not perjure themselves. CPS guidance says you will need to know what you said was false, which can be hard, but it should not be that difficult to know whether she had made the donations or not. I can't see a problem there. The other confusion is that she would need to be extradited. If the CPS authorizes a charge, then you have to extradite her, which is unlikely, especially as she is a U.S. resident. Legal expert Mark Stevens also said police could decide to probe the claims as he described how Heard's legal team are being severely outgunned by the smooth, swift operation being run by Depp's lawyers. He added, it's notoriously difficult to bring and prosecute a perjury case. You have to show that someone deliberately told an untruth as opposed to them being confused or misremembering. I think it would be a very difficult thing to do. Police could investigate it, but they probably would not prosecute it. The case is not about what she spent her money on, but what took place during their relationship. I accept misleading a court is a big issue, but this is a line that Depp's team ran in London. How do you prove that she knew? She may have been given advice that the donations were made. Access to bank accounts if you are a celebrity may be managed. You may well believe that you made or have committed to the donations. And commenting on the case, Mr. Stevens said, Nobody comes out of this case well. He continued, Depp's legal team are just a different class. They know the evidence is there. They're not getting names wrong, misplacing things. It's a smooth, swift operation. Heard's lawyers look like they're being outgunned. Heard appeared on Dutch talk show RTL late night in 2018, where she said $7 million in total was donated. I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. I wanted nothing. But Terrence Doherty, the ACLU chief operating officer and general counsel, testified earlier in the case and said that so far only a total of $1.3 million has either been donated by Heard or on her behalf. 
Of that money, Heard contributed $350,000 directly in December 2018, and she has not paid any money since. A further $100,000 was paid by Depp, and another $350,000 came from a fund at Fidelity, an investment company. It comes after Depp's lawyers accused Amber of giving away a fraction of the huge sum as part of a calculated and manipulative lie to make herself look better during their legal battle in the UK last year. Heard has insisted that she fully intends to honor the pledges and would love for him to stop suing me so I can. Stephen Heffer, head of privacy at law firm Collier Burstow, said, Perjury is a very serious offense under English law as it strikes at the very heart of the justice system. Well-known individuals, including prominent politicians, have found this to their cost and ended up serving prison time. Under English law, perjury is committed in a judicial proceeding when a witness makes a statement material to that proceeding which she knows to be false or does not believe to be true and it carries a prison sentence of up to seven years. If one of the witnesses had been proved to have lied in the course of the English libel case, they could expect a prosecution for perverting the court of justice and perjury and a likely custodial sentence. Ms. Vasquez also alleged on Monday that Heard had purposely not donated the money to charity so she could keep as much as possible for herself, a claim vehemently denied by Heard. Heard's lawyer, Elaine Bredehoft, asked the star why she accepted a $7 million settlement from Depp at the hearing on Monday. She said, I didn't care about the money. I was told if I didn't agree to a number, it could be overturned. We would never settle. I took far less than what they were offering and what I was entitled to. Heard said she donated the money to charity because she was never interested in Johnny's money. She added, I just wanted my safety and my future that he compromised that. I wanted him to leave me alone. I've been saying that since 2016. The accusations come as Heard is already undergoing a police probe for perjury and an FBI-backed probe into claims that she lied to Australian officials after smuggling her dogs into the country in 2015. But what do the netizens think about all this? Take a look for yourself. This user tweeted, did you hear that? The Sheriff's Department has an open investigation into Amber Heard for perjury. And not only that, but they got to hear that a fairly mild-mannered, affable lawyer thinks Amber Heard committed perjury. This seems like something I'd have fought to the death to keep away from the jury's ears, not to make the highlight of the morning," explained another user on the same platform. Reliable sources in the UK have confirmed that Amber Heard is now facing a potential police investigation for perjury and may not be allowed to enter the country again. This would end her ability to film work on any co-production there," said another. Finally, this enraged user tweeted, Amber Heard's team called Adam Waldman to try and pin his press statements on Johnny Depp. Instead, they got to read those statements to the jury, a list of people who saw Heard uninjured, and Waldman informing the jury that Heard is under perjury investigation. Oof. That's it from our side. Now we want to know what you feel regarding Amber Heard's lies being caught. Do you think she'll ever be able to work in the UK again? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates.